31. We started this. You guys might have done it already. If you've already done it, just make sure you did it right. Um, it says it's two days from now. I know. Are we just doing it? Yeah, I'm doing it on. Uh, oh, okay. I thought you were grading. Starting at 31. No, we're, we're not grading today. Wait, we didn't. I don't think we did 29. No, we didn't do most, almost all of them. So on 31, it says the sum of 47 and 3 times the number. What's the sum mean? Uh, what are we adding? 47 and... Or... 3 and... Is... 68. It's a little bit easier when they're not the story problems that they just tell you what's right. Um, anyway, so it's a normal problem from yesterday. So what's my step at this point? Get rid of added 47. So I get 3n equals 21. This book. Might scooch down, like get all these bags off the table. I know. It doesn't fit in my locker. And so, it's 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 my it's locker. It's yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Divide by three. Body That's a funky N. Okay, N is seven. All right, 33 is a word problem. This is a little more where I'm con or a story problem. A little more concerned about these. So, on 33, it says, how many nickels must be added to $2.47 to make a total of $3.12? I know you guys can probably figure out a way to, to find that without writing an equation, but we need to practice writing equations. That's part of the question, what's an equation? So, basically it says we're starting at 247. We want to add nickels to that until we get to $3.12. Okay, so we're starting at two. Is that a question or an answer? Uh, I, I don't want the answer. Oh, okay. I was asking, like, is how we do it. Like, is it like two dollars forty-seven plus so five eight? Okay, two dollars and forty-seven cents plus the nickels should equal what is it? Three dollars and twelve cents. Okay, what does N stand for? Nickels. Number of nickels. Does that mean if I have five nickels, I have five dollars? If I have five nickels, do I have five cents? So, N stands for the number of nickels, not the value of the nickels. So something is wrong with my equation. What's wrong with my equation? Right. If I have like three nickels, that doesn't mean I have three cents. Or three dollars. That doesn't make uh, sense. So how do I turn this into the value of my nickels? Like, um, n equals point zero five. Each nickel is worth five cents. But how do I represent the value of my nickels? Would you put n divided by five? Okay. If I had, let's say, three nickels, how much money do I have? Fifteen. Fifteen. If I had ten nickels, how much money? Fifty cents. If I had a hundred nickels, five hundred cents, five dollars. So how are we figuring out how much money I have in nickels? Right. We're taking the number of nickels times five cents. So the nickels need to be changed into. Okay. Something's still wrong. What did I do wrong this time? Okay, what does this two represent? A dollar. So five cents is point zero five, not five. All right. So basically, what this means is we add two forty-seven, and we're adding on to that five cents for every nickel until we get to three twelve. We started at two dollars and forty-seven cents. We're adding five cents per nickel until we get to $3.12. Okay, but at this point, it's a basic equation, right? That was the hard part. So what do I do to solve? Subtract. Subtract. 
just like the last problem we did. Subtract first, and we got five cents a nickel money. Let's see what is that? Um, is it sixty-five cents? I think it is. All right. Now what's my last step? stand for in this problem? Number of nickels. No. The question is how many nickels does he have? Okay. How many nickels must be added to blah blah blah? 13 nickels. Alright. 35. I think, was this the last one? Yeah. Well, 36. The last one, I mean. uh, 35 should be similar. So David is charged $19 a month and five cents per minute for his pay-as-you-go cell phone plan. If his bill was $21.35, how many minutes did he use? All right, do you understand what they're saying about the cell phone? So every month he has to pay $19 no matter what. And on top of that, he also has to pay five cents for every minute he was calling somebody. Uh, and his total bill was $21.35. Anybody have an idea for this one? I nominate fours. I do not. Okay. Yeah, we're no, no. smart. All these are pretty much the same. Four, right. So, <laughs> how much is he going to pay this month? How do we represent how much he's going to pay? Well, we know for sure he's going to pay what? He's, well, now every month he has to pay nineteen dollars. On top of that, what else does he have to pay? Or she? Does it say name David? Right. He also has to pay five cents per minute. So how am I going to write five cents per minute? Five times. Five cents times every minute. And then what? He equals twenty-one So like if the minutes if it was five minutes, he'd have to pay five times five cents. If it was ten minutes, he'd pay ten times five cents. If it was hundred minutes, hundred times five cents. How do I solve for n? Subtract 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 19. Notice I'm lining my decimal place up here. If there's no decimal, it's at the end. So, 5 cents per minute equals $2.35. Check those to make sure you set them up right. I will do that. 